Congress leader Shashi Tharoor has said that a statue meant to commemorate the liberation of Bangladesh has been destroyed by anti-India vandals. Mr Tharoor shared an image of the broken statue which depicted the moment Pakistan surrendered after the 1971 war. Sad to see images like this of statues at the 1971 Shaheed Memorial Complex, Mujib Nagar. destroyed by anti india vandals the tiruvanthapuram mp said in a post on x this follows disgraceful attacks on the indian cultural center temples and hindu homes in several places even as reports came in of muslim civilians protecting other minority homes and places of worship he added the 1971 war not only liberated bangladesh but also dealt pakistan a crushing blow The statue depicted the signing of the instrument of surrender by Pakistan Army Major General Amir Abdullah Khan Niazi to the Indian Army and Bangladesh's Mukti Bahini. Major General Niazi surrendered with his 93,000 troops before Lieutenant General Jagjit Singh Arora, then General Officer Commanding in Chief of India's Eastern Command. This was the largest military surrender since World War II. A student led uprising in Bangladesh has led to the resignation of former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and several other top officials. At least 450 people were killed in more than a month of deadly protests that led to Hasina's exit on August 5th. Jamaat-e-Islami Bangladesh, Park Spy Agency ISI, China and even the US are said to be behind toppling Sheikh Hasina's government. Hasina faces allegations of murder, forced disappearance, money laundering and corruption and must face the law. Amir Khosru Mohammad Chaudhry, a senior member of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party said, "The protests also turned out to be harsh on Hindus residing in the country who have been subjected to several attacks against Hindu households, temples and businesses." Hindus are the largest minority faith in the mostly Muslim Bangladesh and are considered loyal to Hasina's party the Awami League members of minority communities in the violent hit nation have faced more than 205 incidents of attacks across 52 districts since the fall of the government Shashi Tharoor urged the new caretaker government led by Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus to take urgent steps to restore law and order the agenda of some of the agitators is quite clear it is essential that mohammad yunus and his interim government take urgent steps to restore law and order in the interests of all bangladeshis of every faith india stands with the people of bangladesh at this turbulent time but such anarchic excess can never be condoned tharoor said news desk kaumudi global